What's up YouTube, I'm Domenico and this is the first video of this channel which will be entirely dedicated on creating generative art videos or art that you can create with code. This will be the image that we're going to create with this video and it's called generative art for a reason. You can keep on generating it. I'm refreshing the page and it's constantly generating new variations of this image. You find the code for the entire project in a repo that I'll link in the description of the video. But for now, you can bootstrap the project with Veeth, uh, select vanilla JavaScript and then get these dependencies and we'll be ready to go. And I'm working with these three files, style.css just to center the canvas, index.html and main.js where we will be coding everything. Let's run the project with npm run dev. Now we can start to import some stuff, create a 3.js scene with an orthographic camera and a renderer to append to the DOM. Let's add a background to the scene and then we'll start rendering. Now we're rendering an empty square which is not that interesting so let's start adding some lines to the code base. Let's make a function to create the lines and in this function we are going to create a line that is made of 100 segments. This package can create 3D lines so we have to specify the X, the Y and Z components of each of the vertices. And of course I was actually forgetting to create the vertices array so there we have it. Okay this is likely not revolutionary but it's a line and now we can displace it with noise to create some ridges and what resembles like a mountain whenever we are displacing all the vertices of this line that is made of 100 segments. Let's add some noise to displace the Y component of the line. We are increasing the frequency with each addition and decreasing the strength of the effect to create a fractal Brownian motion. And obviously I was forgetting something again, we have to create the noise function first. And look at that, a line that is displaced by noise and we can generate as many of these as we want as long as we refresh the page. In generative art there's a beautiful rule for which if something is not interesting enough just wrap it around another for loop and it might become interesting. That's what we're doing now. We're generating multiple lines, one for each raw of the line and we're also changing the noise to consider in which row we're in and then we'll use the R value to displace the Y position of the line. That is surely more interesting, look at that. Something else that we could do though, each of these lines is basically equal to the other ones but we have the option of changing it. So for example, we can start by changing the width of the line depending on another noise function. There we go, now each line will have its own material and the result is pretty interesting because the width of the line changes depending on the position or the raw position of the line. But with this material we can do much more. We can specify if a line will be dashed or not and with a bunch of math of random magic we'll be able to specify these four properties and generate lines of this kind. Look at how beautiful these are. The original image though had a red line at the center of the screen and we're going to create a has red line function because we just want one to appear in the final image and then we'll make the color a parameter that can change depending on this block. So if the width of the line, the width our computing is greater than 1.5 pixels and we don't have a red line already and the line that we are computing is within four rows distant from the center that will make it red. Look at how easy it was to generate this type of pictures. It took, it took us no more than 100 lines of code of JavaScript and 3JS and look at how beautiful these are. We can keep on refreshing the page to generate new variations but what I'm really excited about would be to see your variations. So if you get the chance to play with this algorithm and change it to create something interesting, please send it over to me because if I can gather enough pictures, I would love to make a video with your creation. That was it folks, hope you enjoyed the video. This channel is a bit of an experiment at this stage and I hope I can bring more of these in the near future. If you have suggestions, please share them in the comments and I hope to see you soon on the next one. Cheers.